Thanks for joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. Boone County Sheriff Mike Moore is reporting that his investigators and deputies with the U.S. Marshal Service located and arrested two fugitives wanted out of Georgia recently. Moore says Bethany Watts and Rusty Lee Mahanin are taken into custody at the residence on Dunlap Street in Lead Hill on Thursday and Friday. He said Watts was wanted for felony aggravated battery and on a small child while Mahan was unregistered sex offender and was convicted of enticing a child for indecent purposes in the state of Georgia. Moore said that the pair are being held without bond as of news time in the Boone County Jail on an out-of-state hold. Mahan, who also is charged with failure to register as a sex offender in Arkansas, has been assessed a $10,000 bond. Authorities allege an argument about transportation may have led to the fatal shooting of 48-year-old Shane Ivey on Monday, March the 7th, which at his home on Blue Bird Street in Harrison. Robert Burgess, who was also a uh, resident of the house, pled not guilty Friday morning in Boone County Circuit Court to capital murder and felon in possession of a firearm, according to the court records. Police Chief Paul Woodruff says Burgess had been living in the house for some time, but Ivy had only moved in around November of 2015. According to a report, a witness says that the shooting may have been an act of self-defense. A motion to suppress evidence in the case of Caitlin Killian of Gasville has been filed by his public defender and will be heard April 28th. Killian was arrested December 21st of last year when items he emptied out of his pocket at the security station located at the court's complex building included a plastic container that was found to hold approximately one gram of methamphetamine. Russo's motion argues that a search of the defendant's person, premises, and or property without a warrant and without probable cause or consent violated both the Arkansas and the U.S. Constitution. Killian pled not guilty to the charge against him of possession of methamphetamine. Brett Reed of Mountain Home has pled not guilty to charges of domestic battery involving a child. According to Mountain Home Police report, they came from the daycare center that a three-year-old male child had been injury-free on February 22nd. But the next day, they observed several bruises on his buttocks along with a, another injury. Investigators then interviewed the parents, Brett Reed and his wife, who claimed they did not know how the bruises and other injury had occurred, but believed they must have resulted from the child jumping off of his bed onto toys on the floor. When photos of the injuries were shown to medical professionals, they said the injuries were consistent with some type of abuse. Further investigations showed that Brett Reed had in fact grabbed the child's buttocks too hard and caused the bruises. Reed then told officers he just did not know his own strength. Reed was booked into the Baxter County Jail on March the 10th with a bond set at $10,000. The Harrison Planning Commission will hold three public hearings at its regularly monthly meeting tomorrow afternoon. The agenda shows the hearings involve Heaven uh, Bolin requesting a special use permit for an in-home child care center located on West Prospect Avenue. The property is located in a R2 zone and will need clearance to operate commercially. Tannenball Recycling Group is also requesting an eight-foot variance over the building setback for an awning located at their location on West Industrial Park Road. Amid Shiloh Baptist Church is requesting a special use permit for a boarding house located on Valley View Road in Harrison. The agenda also indicates commissioners will consider action on the request after the public hearings. The meeting is scheduled for 1 p.m. in the council chambers at Harrison City Hall and is open to the public. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TKO8 News continues.
Saving you money every day is what Edwards does best, and this week is no exception. Gordon's Fish Sticks are portions, only $2.99. Select a varieties, Red Baron Pizzas, three for nine dollars $93% lean ground beef, only $2.99 per pound. Best Choice Chicken Wings, only $6.49 in the 10-pound bag. And fresh green cabbage, only $0.39 cents per pound. Sam Alexander Pharmacy has expanded and is now offering many additional products and services. Their new pharmaceutical compounding area allows them to create products to fit the unique needs of a customer. They also have added Spinco Orthotic Shoes and Sandals, Dr. Comfort Diabetic Shoes, Baby Gifts by Aiden and Anias, and Toys by Melissa and Doug. Stop in today and let them help you with any of your specialty pharmaceutical needs. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, your local Health Mart Pharmacy in Harrison. Here's another satisfied client from Dental Creations of Harrison. Several people complain about after a year it doesn't fit, it doesn't feel right. And it's because your mouth changes and they offer the final set of dentures. And it's just like your own teeth. I eat corn on the cob, I eat eat steak, and and Wanda and Dave and Tara was my personal person in there. They're, They're awesome people in there. Dental Creations on the square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. A prosecutor says a 23-year-old Luxburg man was faking mental problems while awaiting trial on charges of child exploitation and child pornography. U.S. Attorney Jonathan Ross told a judge Friday that doctors believe that Nathan Carl Thomas was pretending. Thomas is accused of enticing a 15-year-old girl, transporting her across state lines, and photographing her in 2014. Thomas faces up to life in prison if convicted. Proceedings were delayed in August when a judge granted a defense motion asking the court to order a competency evaluation for Thomas. Defense attorneys conceded to the findings of the evaluation and did not object to Thomas's case going forward. A judge says jury selection is scheduled for next month. Additional charges had been filed against a couple accused of trafficking methamphetamine in northwest Arkansas. According to the 4th Judicial Drug Task Force investigators, they found four pounds of meth and a box of four $700 bills belonging to 61-year-old Alan Gallat and 45-year-old Leslie Curtis of Fedville. Gallat and Curtis are already charged after police reportedly found one pound of meth and more than $60,000 in cash in their residence. Five companies and the operator have submitted bids to purchase the State Department of Health's in-home health care operations. The program offers hospice, home health care, personal care, and in-home health care services. Uh, Most patients pay for the services through Medicare or Medicaid. Some use private insurance. The department told about 500 state employees and 1,800 contract workers last August that the program would be sold sometime this year. It was decided the program was no longer sustainable because of financial constraints and private competition. Department officials told lawmakers that the successful bidder will be required to keep the state employees for at least one year. Secretary of State Mark Martin is reminding Arkansas businesses that annual franchise taxes must be filed by midnight on May 2nd with the Secretary of State's Business and Commercial Services Division. Every incorporated business, whether domestic or foreign, pays an annual fee to do business in Arkansas. Corporations may file their franchise taxes online 24 hours a day by visiting the Secretary of State's website. The easy-to-use site provides automatic calculations, email confirmations, and copies of each completed filing. Credit cards and electronic checks are accepted. Revoked entities continue to accrue franchise taxes annually until the business is formally dissolved or withdrawn. Nonprofit corporations, however, are not subject to a state franchise tax. 
The Fatville Vet Center, in conjunction with the Veterans Healthcare System of the Ozarks, will hold a 50th anniversary commemoration of the Vietnam War on Tuesday, March 29th at 11 a.m. The program will play a tribute to honor all Vietnam veterans and their families. The Federal Vet Center offers a wide range of social and psychological services, including professional readjusting counseling to veterans, active duty service members, and their families in an effort to make successful transitions from military to civilian life. Vet centers are located outside the hospital and are openly accessible without appointments. Established in 1979, the Department of Veterans Affairs Vet Center Program operates a system of 300 community-based counseling centers nationwide. All veterans who served in combat and veterans who have been exposed to military sexual trauma are eligible for cure at the VA Vet Center at no cost and their families who are uh, impacted by the veterans readjustment difficulties are helped as well. Before we take a look at the weather forecast for the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Well, we had a hard freeze warning in effect uh, in the overnight hours until about 8 a.m. this morning, although temperatures did not drop to the temperature level that the National Weather Service thought they would. We did get down in the valleys to around 25, 26 degrees, elsewhere anywhere from 30 to 32 degrees. It was pretty big frost this morning, kind of looked like snow out there. Well, we went from summer weather kind of back to winter type temperatures. Now it looks like we're going to start a warming trend once again. The roller coaster ride continues. Here's the way it looks as we move on through the work week. On Tuesday, a much warmer day on Tuesday. Got up to 60 degrees this afternoon under mostly sunny skies, but a north-northwest breeze of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Kept those temperatures down. On Tuesday, however, 72 degrees with uh, mostly sunny skies. There will be a wind out of the south, southwest, 20 miles per hour, sometimes gusting up to 30 miles per hour. On Wednesday, likewise, another windy day, 70 degrees under mostly sunny skies wind gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour out of the south. On Thursday, a cold front to the north of us will push those temperatures down. Only 49 degrees is a high on Thursday with partly cloudy skies and a northwest wind. On Friday, a slight warm-up, 52 degrees under sunny skies. And then on Saturday, up to 68 degrees with mostly sunny skies. No rain in the forecast, at least during that period. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TK08 News continues. Many things have changed over the years, and so has Auto Body Repair. Even though Ozark Auto Body has been in business for over 30 years, they continue to change with the times. They believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. Quality PPG waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel, plus 24-hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body in Harrison, always taking pride in excellence. Spring has already started at Sisters Flower and Gift Shop. The ladies at Sisters have created some beautiful spring floor arrangements and new home accent items are arriving daily. You'll also find a great selection of centerpieces, unique birdhouses, wall decor, and many other great gift items. Come by and check out the many Razorback items on display. From handcrafted metalware, dinnerware, serving pieces, tabletop items, and cooking utensils, Sisters has just the right item for any occasion. Catch the spring fever at Sisters Flower and Gift Shop. We are so much more than flowers. The Arkansas Razorback baseball team had a 6-1 lead entering the fifth inning Sunday against South Carolina, but the Gamecocks chipped away at the lead over the last four innings and completed their five-run comeback uh, in the eighth with a three-run homer by John Jones off of Zach Jackson. The home run gave the Gamecocks an 8-6 advantage as they held on 
to the lead in the ninth to finish the three-game sweep of the Razorbacks at Founders Park in Columbia, South Carolina. The team, uh, as a team, Arkansas had nine hits in the game but struck out 11 times for a record double-digit strikeout total of the weekend. Arkansas returns to the field next weekend to host the Auburn Tigers for a three-game series at Bomb Stadium in Fayetteville. George Nang scored 28 points, and Iowa State kept Josh Hagens from any more second-half heroics in their 78-61 win over Little Rock in the second round of the NCAA tournament on Saturday. The Cyclones advanced to their second Sweet 16 in three years and will play Virginia in Chicago next weekend. Uh, Virginia, uh, excuse me, with uh, Nang, who is the winningest player in the Cyclone history and Iowa State's only two-time All-American was simply too much for the 12th seeded Trojans who were coming off of their best season in program history. Well, certainly they made it to the NCAA tournament. They were the only team in Arkansas to get to the NCAA. Freshman Sophia Cunningham has been leading the Missouri Tigers all season and maintained that streak in the NCAA tournament. Cunningham scored 20 points, helping Missouri upset BYU 78-69 Saturday night for the Tigers' first tournament victory since back in 2001. It was a huge turnaround for a team that entered the tournament on a three-game losing streak. Missouri shot 23 of 28 from the free throw line and made 13 over the final three minutes to seal the victory. A record-setting performance by freshman Arnell Howard helped Texas A&M overcome the suspension of two of its players. She set an NCAA record with 27 rebounds. Courtney Walker scored 29 points, and Texas A&M overcame the suspension of the starter, Courtney Williams, to beat Missouri. 74-65 in the first round Saturday of that tournament. Before the game, the fourth seed Aggies suspended Walker and Shalette Allen indefinitely for a violation of team rules. Howard shattered the NCAA record for rebounds of 23 set by Cheryl Taylor in 1985 for Tennessee Tech against Georgia. She also had nine points, narrowly missing a double-double. The rebound total was the most ever by an A&M player, besting the previous record of 21 set by Michelle Tatum in 1985. A total Walker scored 29 points, 11 of 21 shooting to lead all scores. Well, the St. Louis Cardinals have signed free agent shortstop Ruben Teja for a one-year, $1.5 million guaranteed contract. Teja hit 261 with 23 doubles, three homers, and 28 RBIs with the New York Mets last year. His season ended when the Los Angeles Dodgers chased Utley, broke Telja's right leg with a takeout slide in the National League Division Series. Well, that wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. As we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around our viewing area. This is pretty fun. Yeah? I've been thinking of growing a man bun. Get $1,000 customer cash or qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months plus a $500 subvention bonus on a stylish new 2016 Corolla. Thanks, Jan. No, it's Jan. Toyota, let's go places. Now what? Let's go. That way. Have fun out there on the compact, capable, and entirely new Pioneer 500 from Honda. Come see us at 824 North Main in Harrison. Local television worth watching. KTKO Channel 8, Harrison. 
Sam Alexander Pharmacy has expanded and is now offering many additional products and services. Their new pharmaceutical compounding area allows them to create products to fit the unique needs of a customer. They also have added Spinco Orthotic Shoes and Sandals, Dr. Comfort Diabetic Shoes, Baby Gifts by Aiden and Anais, and Toys by Melissa and Doug. Stop in today.